What is up guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Torin and today we have a huge opportunity for you. So I'm going to be going over the huge metaverse presale that's going to be happening for Everdome. Now if you don't know what Everdome is, this is Robert Grin's second project. Now Robert Grin was the CEO and founder of MetaHero, which is currently sitting at half a billion dollar market cap, which did a 175x off the presale. So Everdome plans to be even even larger than Meta Hero because Rob has now stacked his team with some incredible talent as well as gotten into the room with some in big investors as well as started an incredible marketing campaign. So today we're going to be going over all of this information, the white paper, the website, how you guys can get involved in that pre-sale. I will go over that later in the video. So if you guys are interested in this early opportunity and appreciate that, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, make sure you hit that notification bell because of course these are time sensitive. And a step further, I do have a private Discord chat where we've been talking about this even before I make a video. So link down below for that. But without further ado, let's dive into my computer and start learning more about MetaHero and the Everdome presale. All right, so you can find the actual project at everdome.io. Now this provides you all of the proper information you're going to need to do your research. So please don't take this as financial advice. Go out and do some research for yourself, some due diligence and only take this as a starting point. So this is gonna be the Digital Frontier's first hyper-realistic metaverse. Now, some of the other metaverses are a little bit more cartoony, but Everdome will provide a destination for meta heroes, remarkable tech to live, interact, and flourish. So taking meta hero from the gateway into the metaverse to a Web3 experience, which they claim with taking off your headset, you're not gonna be able to tell whether you're in the game or not. Now, with that being said, let's just dive a little bit into Meta Hero. It was launched quite a few months ago, but as I mentioned previously, the market cap's currently sitting at half a billion dollars. Now, it does have a Certic audit, and you can pull that up if you wanna do some of your research as well. But again, that is great to see that they did go through. This is a serious project, wants their investors to feel very safe, but currently the project has over 200,000 holders. So you can definitely see that there's a serious community and a serious backing towards this project. Hopefully all of these holders are just as interested in Everdome and will explode it just as much. As we can see over the last few months, it has gained some huge investment and it has pulled back with the market as has every other token. But hopefully when we see the markets rebound, it will be the one of the first to shoot up because it is in the metaverse. So before going over the website, I keep talking about Robert Grin. So let's just go over why is this guy so special? Well, of course, him and his team are completely stacked. They know what they're doing in terms of the marketing, but there is a full team page where you can dive in to each of these members, check out their LinkedIn, and see if you can get in touch with them that way. Now, it says on the page here that Robert Grin is the youngest self-made entrepreneur to make the Forbes 100 richest list in Poland. He's the former CEO of CodeWise, the second fastest growing company in Europe, and after selling CodeWise, he shifted 100% of his attention and focus into crypto. His new mission is to help accelerate the mass adoption of this revolutionary technology. Also found a huge article that they have onboarded Bali Singh as the CMO. He's done some incredible things with tech and music being in Microsoft, AMG, Sledgehammer Games, McLaren, EA Games. He's even worked with Pharrell Williams, 50 Cent, The Weeknd, and much more. So he's been onboarded and obviously this is a very good sign to have such a strong member be a part of the team. Make sure to check out their team page to learn more about who is developing the creative directors, the community and project managers. So as we scroll down the website, we can see here that Everdome will provide an opportunity for everyone who's interested in a very real to life version of the metaverse. You're going to be able to have hyper realistic branding, which will bring companies and people to have a focus on the quality. There'll be a huge social environment. Professionals will be able to hold business meetings, conferences, or any other types of events. And you're going to be able to buy and sell products inside Everdome. So in order to build this high quality quality experience, they have done quite a few things inside here. So you're going to be able to purchase land. So you're going to be able to increase your metaverse holdings of NFTs and digital land. You can then buy, rent, or lease the property there. You can advertise inside the metaverse as well as the marketplaces. So it goes on to talk about the combination of virtual world with the real world will give everyone new experiences and opportunities all in ultra HD. So it's going to be attached to gaming, virtual reality, augmented reality, fashion, social media, and medicine. Here it talks 
talks about some of the actual resolutions and how you're going to be able to view this in the metaverse. Now they do have a full light paper you can also dive into. It talks a little bit more about what I am currently on here. The meta scanner use cases. Wolf Studios first generation meta scanning tech has been trialed and tested commercially since 2017 by the likes of the CD Project Red, Ferrari musicians and artists. So commercial use case have been so far include music videos, fashion, 3D printing, in-game character creation, so Cyberpunk 2077, as well as scanning artwork. So recently launched their V3 Meta Scanner, which has many improvements over the first gen model. So as we mentioned earlier, 6K Ultra HD quality, easier to calibrate and operate. All right, so let's get into some of the token distribution and the pre-sale opportunities. So jumping back to the website here, if we scroll down, this is the financial infrastructure of the token, 15% to the team, 20 to the exchange listings and liquidity, 12 to strategic partners and advisors, 20% goes to the development, 10% to the company, 3% marketing, there's a 5% private round, and then down below here are the interesting pre-sales, so 10% hero exclusive pre-sale, and the 5% 10 set gem launch pad. So we'll go over that in just a second, but most of them are all vested as well. So you can see that this is a long-term investment for the people that are currently running it. Now, just before we get into how to purchase the pre-sale, I'm just going to go over some of the roadmap. So in Q1, they're currently working on their total white paper, expanding their team, the tier one CEX listings, the NFT collection exclusive pre-sale. So that is going to be exciting. There's AMAs with Robert Grin, publishing the smart contract audit, staking stage one, which I'm also very interested in and much more real estate real estate market platform v1 first land sale it's also very exciting make sure you guys are following them on twitter this gives you the most up-to-date information usually an inside scoop and of course this is where we're going to be finding the information on how to get in on the pre-sales so back on january 10th the official everdone dates were announced so time is almost here we're ready to announce the pre-sales and public listing dates so on january 22nd there is the hero pre-sale now to be involved with this pre-sale it's going to happen for two days but you would have had to hold the hero token. So you would have had to already be a holder in that project and be involved for the last couple months, if I'm not mistaken. But where it gets interesting is that on the 24th, anyone can get on the 10 set presale, which is also happening for 48 hours. Now the public listing isn't until February 8th, but we will go over how to get in on this pre-sale right here. All right, so we can see from the light paper here down at the bottom, they have allocated some of the tokens, 5% to be exact, to the 10 set gem launchpad or the TGLP. And this is actually how you're going to be able to get in on the pre-sale. You're gonna need to purchase their actual tokens and lock it in on their website. So I am gonna pull up the tweet from 10 set Twitter here. Now this tweet is a little bit old. Currently it is sitting at 5,000 tokens and you will just have to visit the tenset.io slash gem page. So if you pull it up, it talks a little bit more about what the platform is, how it's powered by, and if you want to subscribe. As we can see down below, here is the Everdome allocation. So if you want to get in on this presale opportunity through this platform, you will have to click subscribe here. But after you click subscribe, you will have to lock in at those five thousand tokens here and you can do it all on their page through your metamask there will be five million raised at this point before going to the public sale on the 8th of february now if you haven't heard of the 10 set project definitely check it out because it's currently sitting at 270 per token but it does have a certic audit and a ton of ethereum holders Currently, there's over 28,000, so it's definitely a launch pad people are proud to be a part of. Now, if you can't get in on the 10 set pre sale during those two days, the public sale does go live on February 8th, so I will be taking a look at that closely as well. Some of the other tweets that I have found quite interesting is that the CD Project Red and Sony PlayStation division actually invested in Everdome as well. They plan to do a ton of YouTubers promotion of the project, and so this is going to definitely pump the marketing and get a ton of eyes on it. All pre-sales will be held in BNB as well to give you guys a last couple tips. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this overview of this early project, how it's possible to get in on the pre-sale. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, guys, take care.